He's but the baby, oh Oh Lord, have his mercy Hey, I say I'm feeling all this, she already know this She want a bad man to come and be the oldest I'm feeling all this, she already know this She want a bad man Hi guys, welcome back to my channel If you're stopping by for the first time, welcome My name is Laifa And I'm a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria So let's just jump straight into this look So starting off, I'm going to cleanse my face You guys already know The Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water So I'm just going to put a little bit on two wipes I'm going to use this. Oh, that's cold. I'm going to use this to cleanse my face. Guys, I haven't sat down to film in a while. The last time I sat down to film was when I did the video on my struggles as a makeup artist and dealing with depression. I'm going to link that video up here if you haven't seen it already. So, guys, the amount of love and feedback that I got from that video, unbelievable. Like, you know when you feel like like, I still don't really get this thing, yeah? Knowing that there are thousands of people that watch me. Like, there are actually thousands of people that watch me. So when people even call me or walk up to me and tell me certain things, in my mind, I'm like, how does this person know this? I forget that. I mean, yeah, you have to There's nobody here. So I don't even know that people are actually listening to what I'm saying. So it was really, it felt really, 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 really good that people connected with me. Like, the amount of calls, DMs, emails, different things that I got when I released that video. It was really heartwarming, very... Oh, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. I'm happy to let you guys know that I'm doing okay. I'm taking it one day at a time. I'm not overstressing myself. In my head, I'm like, do you know who you, who you are? You are the daughter of a king. That makes you what? A princess. You know, my father, Baba God in heaven, is the king of all kings. So why should I be worrying about things? So now I'm just relaxed. Whenever any negative thought just comes to my head, I just push it and I'm like walking like a horse. <laughs> like I'm not even giving myself time to be depressed. I'm working. I'm going to be moisturizing with the Omari Code and Brega. Uh, what's it called? Moisture Maximizer. Yes, this is my friend Brega. I'm so so proud of her. This is not a first impression I've actually been using it for a while now and it is so good you guys like it's so so good It's moisturizing and mattifying at the same time. I can't even explain how that is possible. I'm so proud of you Brega more 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 things to come this is just the beginning so yeah thank you guys so much for that video someone told me someone actually asked me were you lying in that video were you just trying to give views and it was so funny to me like why why would i do that <laughs> why 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 would i do that i wasn't lying guys i was that was life life was happening to me and it felt good to talk about it and talk about it with different people and see that I'm not the only one going through these things. It felt really good. And guys, for my skincare routine, people keep asking me, and in my mind, I'm like, I don't even know the skin that they're saying, you know? But yeah, I keep getting the custom a lot, and it, it seems like I'm trying to hide a secret or something. So I decided to show you guys what I do. Guys, I'm not even going to lie to you when it comes to skincare. I'm the laziest person ever. I, I don't know, God just blessed me that I don't have acne and all that because I am lazy when it comes to skin, yeah? So I use this, this is my body cream. The Nivea Natural Fairness. So yeah, that's the body cream I use. I've been using this cream for years. I discovered it from Makeup Sheila. This two, they are the same thing, but this is the cup and cup and this is the whatever it's called. But yeah, Nivea Body Fairness, that's the cream I use. Guys, this see how amazing this product feels. Like it has dry mats. It's it's so I like I'm so so in love with this product. Like I can't even begin to tell you guys. So yeah, that's the cream I use. And for my soap, I use the extract, the papaya one, the one that has the white and orange i've run out like I, I already opened the last one i don't have the pack to show you guys but that's what i use this is my daily cleanser like i said i'm actually lazy when it comes to skincare but when i feel like it i use the sugar scrub sugar and honey sugar and honey scrub yeah and then sometimes i would wear a mask like these things are things that i do once in a blue moon but like my everyday thing my nivea cream my soap 
That's it, honestly. Let me not come and lie. I start telling you I'm using Dior, this, this, that, that. I don't use anything. God just blessed me with, with good skin, and I thank God. So yeah, moving on to foundation. I'm going to be using the Juvia Space Foundation, guys. I've bought this thing for months. Well, let me not say months, but like no long after it came out. But like I said, I haven't filmed since that last video, so yeah and i haven't even tried it out yet and i i got four shades i got one for myself and three for my box guys they stole my shade something that i've not used before <laughs> hey god i can't even understand how it happened but i'm hoping that this malawi this is malawi i'm hoping malawi will be my shade so i'm gonna be using my huda beauty foundation brush i think it's light Oh, it actually is full coverage, guys. You guys have seen the million and one reviews about this foundation, so no need to talk. <laughs> okay, that actually matches. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I thought it was going to be lighter for some reason. Alright, then I'm going to go into a damp beauty blender and blend it. I don't know, I have. <laughs> trust issues when it comes to using a brush. Even if I use a brush to apply my foundation, I still always blend it with a beauty sponge. This foundation is full coverage. Like, I pretty much used one drop. I wanted to test the whole one drop thing, and this is one drop, you guys. This is one drop. For contour, I'm going to be contouring with the L'Oreal foundation. This is the shade Expresso. I'm on braids, guys. I've had this braid on for like three weeks now and it's actually begging for mercy at this point. I'm taking it off this week. I just wanted to use it to film a video because I haven't filmed with it. Oh no, no, no. I actually filmed a video with Anita Browse. You haven't seen that. Click and go and watch that video. I think you're really going to enjoy it. But for highlights, I got the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 11. But I did not think it was this light because the people that I saw on YouTube doing reviews that were close to my skin tone, they were using this to highlight. So I figured this would be, but it's so light. But I don't know. I'm trying to... Okay, it's not so light actually. Okay, that's actually not bad. The concealer is not as thick as the foundation. So I think I think that's the that's what they were going for. They were going for a very full coverage foundation and a light coverage concealer. So they work well together. I love, 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 love this micro beauty sponge. It's bigger than the normal micro beauty sponge and it's I don't know, it's so amazing, especially for underneath the eye. I love using it for underneath my eyes. I got it from Top Glam. And it's so affordable. I'm going to go into another L'Oreal. Like, guys, this is my new favorite drugstore foundation. This one is lighter than the one I use for the size of my face. You know, you don't want to use a concealer that's too concealer or foundation that's too dark for your nose contour. And I'm going to go into my MAC powder in MAC Dark. I laughed because as I picked up this powder, I, I remember something that happened in my studio. So I wasn't around, I wasn't in my studio. I, I had the home service appointment. So it was my assistants that were in the studio. And according to them, a client came to do her makeup and she wanted to use this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder on her and the lady was like, that this is fake product, that oh, she doesn't use fake products on her skin, that this is not what MAC powder looks like. You know the normal MAC powder, I don't have a year, but the normal studio fix powder, that's the popular one. So that's what a lot of people know. She should just say that she had not seen this one in her life before. It was so funny when I heard it, like, it was so hilarious. Then I'm going to go into the Laura Mercier setting powder.
Next, I'm going to go into that deepest. To set my contour, I'm going to go into my Maybelline powder in cacao. Who's watching Big Brother, you guys? Who is watching Big Brother? I'm not a Big Brother fan, actually. I've, ne I've never sat down to watch Big Brother. Like, this is the first time I'm watching Big Brother ever. Guess who my best housemate is? Don't cheat, post this video and comment who you think my best housemate is. So, my best housemate is Mike, of course. Have no idea why he had to be married. And he literally got married three weeks before he got into the house. How crazy is that? And he genuinely loves her and they've been together a long time. Like I watched their wedding video and I just I just stopped hating his wife because the wedding video was so cute and it made me cry. It was so cute. I'm going to finish this conversation in a second. Let me go off camera, do my brows, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've gone ahead to do my brows. Now we're going into eyeshadow. Today I'm going to be working with some products from Mood Beauty. It's a Nigerian brand, but they are available worldwide. I've actually done a review of all these products I'm going to be using today before, like a few months ago. And I decided to do it again because, guys, I, I don't think I explained to you guys enough how amazing these palettes are. So, Mood Beauty is a Nigerian brand owned by an amazing lady. And these are some of our eyeshadow palettes. You guys can see how messy they are. So, you should know that they've been getting a lot of love from me. Do you guys see how amazing these are? This is a Nigerian brand, you guys. Like, what? They're so amazing. I'm going to leave a... I'm going to leave a link to the, the review I did on, on them initially. My first initial review. Like, I think that, that was like three months ago. Or four, four months ago, actually. This is another one. As in, for the past, like, four more streets, like, these are the palettes I've been reaching for the most because they are so pigmented. Like, even when I went for the YouTube bootcamp, I think this was the palette I went with. Yeah, this one, because you guys know I'm not really big on eyeshadows, except I'm doing tutorials. So this was the palette I went with. This is, like, my favorite, favorite, favorite color. You can see that I already hit pan on that color. So, yeah, today, I don't know what I'm doing yet, Sha, but we'll see as it goes. I'm actually doing a giveaway with them and it's going to be international. I'm not sure yet, guys. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to leave it on the screen whether or not it's international. So definitely stay tuned till the end of this video to know all the rules on the giveaway. So jumping straight into eyeshadow, I'm going to use my Benai Clown White as my eyeshadow base. So yeah, I was talking about Big Brother. I don't even know where I stopped, but yeah. This is my first time following Big Brother. And guys, I have a confession to make. Mmm, drum roll. I'm sure it's going to be my title actually, so no need for drum roll. I auditioned for Big Brother. Yes, guys, I did. It's not something I've been saying out loud for anybody to hear because it's kind of embarrassing <laughs> that I auditioned and I wasn't picked. Like, I, I literally wasn't picked, guys, after suffering. I suffered, guys. That thing wasn't a joke. I'm not a patient person. Like, I'm the kind of person that will go to a bank or somewhere. I'll see a queue and I would run the other way. And that's, that's my kind of person. I can't stand queues. Well, guys, this Big Brother audition thing taught me perseverance and patience. Guys, I queued up for two days. <laughs> two days, guys. Morning till night, morning till night. Like, literally, the first day I got there by 6 a.m. That's how serious I was, though. I was ginger. That, that was the whole, you know, I was telling you guys that I was depressed and all. So many things were happening. I was going through a break, this, that, that. So when it came up, I was like, mm, let me just go and try. What, what do I have to lose, you know? <laughs> Maybe I will now get publicity. My YouTube channel will now grow more. My Instagram will grow more. I'll be able to be an influencer for some big brands, international brands, you know, like more money in the bank, you know? That was my thinking. I was just thinking of all them CC because I didn't watch them, but I just see them everywhere. CC, Toby, Bakri, like they are cashing in, you know, they are making money. You get so I was like, ah, let me go and try this thing so that maybe I'll be making money like them too. That thing was bloody. Never in my life will I try something like that again. 
after queuing for two days, they know how pick me. It shook, it shocked me. I don't know why. <laughs> I was so confident that they were going to pick me. I don't know why I was so confident. So when they didn't pick me, I was like... <laughs> it that reminded me how much I hate competition because I hate to lose. Like, I used to do pageantry way back then. And when I don't win, I would literally cry because I put in my everything when I'm doing competitions because I'm very competitive. I like to win. I hate losing with a passion. So when I don't win, it breaks my heart. It was, it was a very fun experience, so <laughs> it was actually very fun. So for my eyeshadow look today, I'm going to be using this one, the Bocap palette. I'm going to start off with this shade right here. It's like a magenta dark purple, dark pink color. I saw a lot of people at that audition, a lot, like people that I didn't even expect to see, people that I felt, mm, this one would be too big for this kind of thing. They were there, even this, um, what they call her, Benita and the other guy, the two new people they just put in the house now. I saw them there that day. I remember when I saw Benita, I was like, ah, ah this girl is like a celeb. Like, I've known her for a long time. I don't know why I was not expecting to see someone like her there. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, when I saw her, I was like, hey, wow, this just got interesting. Wow, I didn't expect it at all. Her and the other guy, that actor guy, I've forgotten his name. I saw them at the audition. And when I didn't see them in the house, like there were some people I saw at the audition and when I didn't see them in the house, I was like, how, how is this big brother people? How are they choosing their, their um, what's it called? How are they picking the contestants? Because the housemates, because there are some people that I really expected to see there, like that Benita girl and that actor guy, because they are like really big people. So I would think they would have wanted big people to bring more publicity to the thing or whatever. I don't know, sure. But yeah. They've made Oma Shola very happy by bringing that girl. Hey, God. <laughs> They've made him very happy. Guys, they evicted my Kim. Hey. When they evicted Kim, I couldn't believe it too. Hey, God. I couldn't, I really couldn't believe it. Like when she auditioned, I knew they were going to pick her. She was saying, no, oh, no, no, no. I said, Auntie, they will pick you. How will they not pick you? Beauty queen. Every, every. Like, I just, I knew in my heart that they were definitely going to pick, pick Kim. So when they picked her, I wasn't even surprised at all. But uh, the fact that Kim left, and there are some people in that house that I'm like, I don't even know what these people are doing here. Even Tasha, God, I really don't know how Tasha is still in that house. Like, she's not even, I, I expected that when she, when, when I saw her in that house, I was like, ah, this is our, our sissy. But she's so calm. Like, she's so not what I expected her to be at all. She's so different from the image that she portrays on her Instagram. She's so calm, like, she's really calm. I did not expect that at all. But it's a shock everybody, she might just win. Like, she really might just win. But yeah, like, right now, if you ask me who I want to win, I want Mike to win. Like, Mike is so mature. He's just, uh, I just like him, my big, and it makes me laugh. I go report. I go go, so No, why am I saying no to be? I will go out so deep for your case. I go sign up for roll for your case. I go go MC all the one more. I go report all of them. I will report. Report. It is the case you report it. I go. I go report all of them. I go report all of them. Report. I go report. I'm not saying report. No, you're not saying. You say report. I'm saying. I'm saying report. Yeah, I got report. If I say report, it's gonna kill it. It won't kill it. It will kill it professionally. It will kill it the way it is. Don't fucking bother. It's like it. it's like I'm saying it and I report. Yes, that is it. Report. I got no answer. Oh, no. I got report all yeah. of them. I got report all of them. Alright. I will report you. you, you. <laughs> I'll show the L. I'll show the L. That thing cracks me up. Anytime I want to laugh, I can't watch that thing. <laughs> Guys, do you see how pigmented this color is? Like, so freaking pigmented, man. Next, I'm going to take this orange shade here and blend it out. I'm going to go into a smaller crease brush. This brush right here is a lifesaver. Like, I have so many of them. Like, I don't play with this brush at all. It's so amazing. It's from Evita Joseph. And yeah, they are one of the sponsors of my upcoming masterclass. If you didn't know, I'm having upcoming masterclasses in Lagos in ghana and in gambia this year working towards other places for next year i thought it was going to be this year but 
the way time just flies and we're already in the seventh month in fact we're almost at the eighth month so i'm just going to leave those for next year please go register please you guys have been asking for this so i'm finally doing it so please go register i have so many amazing sponsors like i have over 20 sponsors like i didn't even expect that at all guys over 20 sponsors hey god isn't this god amazing hmm. wow like i'm really i'm really going all out i'm doing everything i can to make sure that this class is worthwhile for everybody that attends and mood beauty is also a sponsor like i was so excited when i asked and she agreed to sponsor like i was jumping through the roof like i didn't expect her to to respond i didn't know what to expect actually okay luxury brand like her products are luxury like when you use them like everybody that i've recommended these eyeshadows to and they've used it they've come back to tell me that ah oh, yeah it's really great and their customer service is so amazing i was paid to do um what's it called i was paid to work with mood beauty and another brand at um what's it called the last trade fair the last makeup fair and i fell ill like a day before guys i've never been so scared in my entire life i've never been so scared like hey god i don't even want to get into it but it was a testimony like I, I i wrote about it on my instagram if you don't follow me follow me guys i wrote about it on my instagram about how scared i was and what a testimony was that i'm i'm okay today like that was the scariest one week of my life i was in the hospital going from hospital to the other from one hospital to, to the other they couldn't figure out what exactly it was that was wrong with me and I was in so much pain, guys. I've never, I've never experienced so much pain in my life. Like, the night before when they rushed me to the hospital, I literally couldn't walk from the pain. And getting to the hospital, um, what's it called? They had to take me in, in um, what's it called? A wheelchair. I couldn't walk. <laughs> I couldn't walk. Like, even when they put drip in my arm, usually I'm very, very scared of needles. I didn't even feel it. <laughs> That's to tell you the level of pain that I was experiencing as I wasn't able to make it Because of my health obviously they didn't even oh, Guys they didn't even stress me like I was already thinking of how I'll start refunding the money, you know My guys they did not ask for a refund. I had to refund the other brand, but this particular brand Mood Beauty, they didn't ask me for a refund. They were just there for me, calling, trying to make sure I was okay. Like, they were not even talking about oh, the money aspects. Like, people don't understand loyalty and um, what's it called, building relationships. Because uh, time will pass, the money, you will forget the money. Do you understand? But that relationship will still be there. So I ride with this brand, you know, I ride with them. I'm loving this eyeshadow, you guys. And one thing I like about this eyeshadow is you can use one palette. One palette. Like, you know, normally there are some palettes that you have to pick here, pick here, pick here, pick here. But like this palette, you can use one palette to achieve a, a whole, a full look. You see, like the last time I used the eyeshadows, I used one palette. I'm going to leave pictures on the screen of different eye looks that I've created with this Mood Beauty palette so you guys can see how amazing these eyeshadows really are so i'm going to go ahead and line with my inglot number 77 gel liner oh guys i just remembered i remember in the last video i did i said inglot and left nigeria they are still here guys they reached out to me i was like oh my god you guys are still here so why did i get the information that they weren't so they are still here but they just moved to a new location in lekki phase one so if you want to order their products, just send them a DM in Glot, Nigeria. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to go into Zara Mascara now. All 
Alright, so these lashes I, I have on is actually the one I wore in my last video that I filmed. That's the one that I talked about my struggles as a makeup artist. I am so in love with these lashes. The, these are the lashes I've been wearing for a while. They are from um, Glam Addict Lashes. This is the style Swanky. So I've every 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 video or picture that you've seen me recently that you think oh I want these lashes this is probably this is probably the one I have on like during my boot camp this is the one I was wearing a lot and there's a video I did where I wore a blue jacket and I was talking about I was I did a promotion for a brand I was working with this is the one I had on because everybody kept asking me what lashes what lashes what lashes so these are the lashes I've worn the hell out of them I don't even know how they are still standing I won't be surprised if they are looking funny right about now because I can't really see all the way I'm going to go back into that dark pink shade and I'm going to use the swatch, not swatch, I'm going to use it to swatch, <laughs> I'm going to use it to smudge my lower lash line. Next up, I'm going to go into this palette from Mood Beauty. I've actually never used this. This is their glitter palette. This is what it looks like. I'm not really a fan of pressed glitter. I, I guess that's why I've never touched this, but I decided to try it out today. I'm going to use this light pink shade. Okay, so initially I was rubbing and it wasn't working, but now that I'm patting, it's working. Okay, that looks good. Hello. Oh, that looks so good. That just took this look from a zero. No, no it's not a zero. It took it from like uh, an 80 to 100. Oh, that looks so bomb. Guys, you see what a difference that just made. Like I was saying these eyes are looking too simple for my liking, but like this just took it to a whole other level. The last thing I'm going to do is go into this palette and use this shade called Shalalala. This one is Arisha. So I'm going to go into this lippy from Ruby Light in the shade Ima. I was going to leave it like this, but I'm feeling like I should put something light in the middle. I can't help it. Guys, I don't know. I've been struggling with my lips. I don't even know if I like it, but this is the end result apparently. I wasn't I wasn't going for a glossy lip because I usually only do glossy lip when it's like nude. But yeah, this is where we arrived at. For blush, I'm going to be going into this blush palette from Mood Beauty. So I'm going to go into this shade right here. I'm going to go into oh god that looks so nasty i'm so sorry it's so messy <laughs> that's to tell you that i use it a lot yeah i'm going to go into this shade from mood beauty my highlight shade oh i don't want to do too much highlight so i think that was just one swatcher that came out like that this is like this brush right here it's from evita joseph and it's so amazing to apply highlighter with you see how beautiful that looks mm. To finish off this look, I'm going to go into this setting spray from Iconic London. Anytime you use any glowy setting spray, you want to make sure you shake, shake, shake. It has happened to me before, so I know what I'm telling you guys. You know what? I think I'm going to put more of the setting spray. Now that I'm looking at my face, I feel like it's going to look better if it's all dewy and shit. Feel me? Are you guys reasoning with me? I, I think so. I'm thinking so. You know what? I'm going to take this dress down and I'm going to use this new product that I got from a Nigerian brand. This is it. Always on the glow. It actually came with a brush. This really cute brush. Ha! I 
people see me, hey, I'm looking like a Nubian princess right about now. <laughs> let me ask you guys something and let me know in the comment section down below. So when I do um, liquid glow like this on my body, I feel like when the face is matte and the body is dewy like this, it doesn't go. If I want to put glow on the body, I don't put liquid glow i put matte glow like i do matte glow on the body so that it matches with my face so now that i've done this i'm going to go ahead and spray i don't have a dewy setting spray I, I, I wish i brought one home but i'm going to use that iconic london and drown my face in that setting spray so that it comes together i don't know if that makes sense but comment in the comment section down below if you understand what i'm trying to say i'm going to go back into that mood, mood beauty highlighter and i'm going to apply highlighter on the highest points of my shoulder area all these bones the color bones and all to emphasize it some more i'm trying to force out the bone that is not there anymore the bone that has been covered in fat come on baby you know you wanna yes that's it right there that's our stadu that's how star do. Oracle. How do star do like I do? Guys, I did come to play. Oh, are you posting this glow? This glow is disrespectful right now, baby. I'm going to go a step further and use the dark powder that I used to contour. To contour my color bone. Let's see small color now. What is it? Fats just carry all the color they go. Very disrespectful fats. Mm. I didn't come here to play. Guys, see how excited I am at 12 a.m. I don't know where all this energy came from. Let's draw on the setting spray once more. Alright guys, so this is the finished look all done. What do you guys think? Do you like this look? If you have oily skin, this whole dewy thing is not going to work for you. That's the truth. I have really dry skin, so I can get away with looking dewy like this all day. I hope you enjoyed watching. I definitely enjoyed filming this look. I should feel more awful. Like, every time I film, I feel good at the end of it. So why don't I feel awful? I don't know. I feel like you guys like when I do client transformation videos more than on myself i don't know you guys i need to please let me know whether you prefer me doing looks on myself or on models whatever you guys want let me know i'll bring it to you i'm going to be uploading videos every sunday by 6 p.m every sunday 6 p.m expect a video from me but there will be weeks where there will be times when i would upload twice a week as opposed to once a week and it could be on a wednesday or it could be on a friday but it's definitely going to be sunday uploads unfailingly okay so if you're not subscribed please subscribe and yes for the giveaway i'm going to leave all the details of the giveaway on my instagram so yes you have to go to my instagram follow me follow mood beauty all the rules of the giveaway is going to be on my instagram there's going to be a post i'm going to leave the details of every product i used in my description box down below all the mood beauty products where you can get them from and yes like i said before they ship internationally and the giveaway is open internationally so you go try out you could be the lucky winner of these amazing products okay so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for riding with me i love you guys please like comment and subscribe and share this video i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye guys